Hey everybody, it's Jamie. Okay, so we got your nails done for prom and we got your shoes done for prom, so all that's left to do is get a beautiful prom corsage wristlet for you to match your dress. Oh, what? You don't want to spend $150 on flowers and fluff? Well, it's a good thing that I'm here to the rescue. With a little bit of glue and a lot of creativity, we'll get you all set up for your magical night in 15 minutes and under $15. Let's do it, girl. All right, so I know that traditionally it's the dude's responsibility to pick out the corsage, but come on, it's 2013. Who cares who handles the corsage as long as it matches your prom dress perfectly? Or if you really want your guy to make it, just send him this video. Hey boys. This project is also so much fun to do as a pre-prom activity, whether with your date or with a group of friends. For your corsage, you're going to need some simple, basic DIY ingredients. Scissors, hot glue or super glue, and ribbon. Make sure the ribbon complements your dress. You'll also need a decorative bracelet. I got this for about five bucks at a craft store. If you want a snug fit, which makes sense since you're going to be moving all over the dance floor, then I just recommend using that same ribbon so you can tie it around your wrist. Finally, you need to nab some pretty flowers as well as ivy or decorative leaves. I think the cutest flowers for a corsage are mini roses, orchids, and baby's breath. Or anything that looks like those things. <laughs> Honestly, I am not a flower connoisseur, so I just grabbed any pretty petal that attracted my eye. Also, just so you know, everything that I'm using here is fake. Of course, if you want the true prom going experience, I would recommend using real flowers, but using fake flowers does have its advantages. It's cheaper, you can work on your prom corsage weeks in advance and it won't wilt, and you can use any leftover flower pieces that you have for future projects as opposed to throwing anything away. You can also go half and half, using fake flowers and petals for most of the corsage, and then on prom day, add in a few fresh flowers on top. All right, it's time for some flower power. Step one. The first step is to make a bow with your ribbon. You're going to be layering all of your flowers on top so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm making what I call a pretend bow by making four ribbon loops and gluing them to one another at the ends to create a four point bow. You can glue the final bow to your bracelet now or simply place the bow on a hard surface and work from there. The next step is to take a few pieces of ivy or decorative leaves and glue them on top of your bow. I'll say right now that there's no specific pattern to follow. I'm just eyeballing what I think looks best. Step three, time to begin adding in your flowers. Since the mini roses take up the most space, I'll add those first. Simply glue the rose directly to the ribbon. After your roses are in place, add your next biggest flower. Mine are mini hibiscus looking flowers with these cute rhinestones in the middle. You can add the style on your own by gluing any loose rhinestones to the center of some real flowers too. Glue them in on top of the ribbon or the roses. Finally, I'll fill in all the loose gaps with these small pink orchids. Gluing each one on top of the ribbon, the leaves, or the other flowers. Step four, all that's left to do is decorate. I found this weird wire beaded wreath thing on clearance at a craft store for a dollar. I'll just snip off a few twigs of the stuff and glue them in near my roses. For a classic touch, I'll add a sprig of baby's breath in the corner. And my favorite recommendation is to add even more of your personal style with a small charm. I found these silver butterfly charms, painted one pink, and stuck it in with some hot glue. Now it kind of looks like there's a butterfly that's grazing among your flowers. If you're not a butterfly kind of person, just throw in a picture charm of you and your date by making it the way I did in my chain link bracelet video. Or add in a skull charm for a rocker's prom. It's your style, girl. Make it whatever you want. Okay, so if you haven't yet, now's the time to add your gorgeous just looking piece to the center of your bracelet. Or to a strand of ribbon in order to tie it around your wrist. Or put a big old pin behind it and give it to your guy. That's right, you can just use the extra materials you have in order to make a boutonniere for your date's tux. And there we have it, a beautiful one-of-a-kind corsage for less than $15. You're now ready to be the bomb.com prom. Wait, so I was thinking, now that I've finished my corsage, I've got all of these supplies left over, so I'm going to make a DIY corsage package to give away to one lucky fan. Here's what you've got to do to enter. Follow girl at girl.com and me at Jamie Petito and tweet us using the hashtag Corsage Girl anytime between March 27th and April 3rd before noon and you can win yourself a DIY corsage package. You could win everything that I used here from A bracelet to Z super glue. Full rules are linked to below. Good luck. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie and you're on girl.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hey, every. Oop. Hey, up. Oh. All that's left to do is to get you a beautiful wrist corsage. 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 <laughs>